Okay, so I thought I'd take a quick break from my time lapse video and kind of talk you through this just a little bit. So what I always do first is I start with my greenery, right? And so I picked out my green stems, all the like backing and stuff, and I've done two different kinds of stems. I wire up the base of them normally and sometimes like through the middle of pieces so they stick out or they don't stick out in certain places. And then, so once I have all my greenery on, which I might have to put some more in, but I'm gonna see. So next I take my florals, which I got these bouquets of flowers. And so I start separating them. So all these, there's all these different shades. Actually, when I open them up, they're so much prettier than they were in the bundle still. All right, so next I do my florals and I'll start placing them. And I'll figure out where each one I wanna go, which direction I want it to go in. And then I'll start wiring those in as well. So I cut some wires. I'm just going to twist them through and around. Once those are all in place, so I have a bunch of bundles, and then I have some extra ones in case I need it, I go back through and do my little stems, just like as fillers. So these are the ones I'm going to use for fillers. So any kind of like big space, I'll take a chunk of this and kind of shove it in behind the flowers. And I'll try to find where one of these wires are and try to stick it in through there so I don't have to add more wires. And the whole point is to get all those wires covered and then the whole piece done. This is like a bigger wreath, obviously, because it's a bicycle wheel than I normally do. So it's gonna take a lot more florals than normal. So. All right, I'll keep going with my time-lapse video.